Agora TV. The world is thinking. Yeah, I, I noticed from researching the new HD TVs that uh, they have become basically a platform in some sense to mm -hmm. download widgets. I can get, you know, Hulu widgets and Skype widgets and YouTube widgets and whatnot. And they even have basically the uh, the analog to an app store for these widgets. I can update and get new ones and shop next month and see what they've got. I kind of wonder uh, how much does uh, tomorrow's TV look a lot like and mirror a lot of the, the comments that you've made today about mobile platform. I, I think tomorrow's TV, it, I, I don't know that it's necessarily a platform. I think it just begins to replace your computer screen, right? And you use it in a similar, in a, in a similar function. Believe me, I'd way rather be watching my big screen TV playing a game than necessarily doing it on my iPhone, right? And if I can, you know, if, if, if I can go to iTunes or go to the App Store, buy my app, and it knows that it's me because I've signed in with my iTunes account and I can play it on my TV and I can play it on my phone, well, that's the best of both worlds, right? Because I play it on my phone when I'm sitting in the airport going to New York and I play it with my kids at home. You know, I can play Tap Tap Revenge to Kesha or, you know, Bob, B.O.B. or whoever the cool guy is for them at the moment um, in, in a very cool and engaged environment. So I, I see it sort of morphing into that. Yeah, I would agree. And, uh, you know, one trend I noticed at the Consumer Electronics Show, every device started having an Internet connection. As soon as everything has an internet connection, is connected to the cloud, it is ready to have an app store. Mm -hmm. So let's assume every device you own someday will have an internet connection and have some form of an app type of store. Your wristwatch, your refrigerator, that comment, your car, um, and the apps would be a way to get all the stuff you already like to do, Pandora, CBS, MarketWatch, whatever, uh, as well as maybe personalization settings. So maybe you download an app to your Prius someday and it's got the turbocharge mode and, or something like that, and then the next day you download the commuter profile for maximizing gas mileage or, or whatever it is. But that's the benefit when things are connected to the internet, suddenly it opens up this availability of app stores. Yeah. And I think once you start connecting to the cloud and the internet, and you know, once you once you start downloading stuff on one device, I think you're going to start to see things where you're, you're able to access that same content on multiple devices without having to re-download it again. Mm -hmm. So downloading the Netflix application or downloading music from iTunes, right? When you download it on your iPhone, it's a pain now to go ahead and sync it back to your iPad. And I think at you know the Google I I/O um, conference, that's one of the things they mentioned is is being able to you know, go down that direction, you know, or sort of hinted at is being able to down your mu download your music and have access to it from any device that you own.